everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I'm Amanda and I'm coming from the Little Rays in Hamilton. Uh, and I have Wicket, our Linnaeus two-toed sloth baby here with me today. Um, I just, while everybody signs on here, um, I just want to shout out to all the donors uh, that have donated to on our donor box, our GoFundMe page. Also, all those people who have been dropping off uh, gift cards for the grocery store, uh, dropping off food and things like that. Uh, you guys have no idea how amazing you guys are. Um, you guys help us run smoothly. It's great. Um, I also uh, wanted to announce guys um, or update you guys. If you don't know already, uh, we are open for private tours. Yes, that means you uh, and your family um, or a friend can come through the zoo. Uh, you guys have the zoo all to yourself um, and it's 90 minutes and you have a private guide that takes you around, brings out animals, you guys get to touch animals. Um, we are pretty accommodating so if you really like snakes we can show you a bunch of snakes or if you like skunks we can show you a skunk. Um, so if you guys are interested in those private tours please give, give us a call at 905 549-6868 or email us at hamilton at lrnc.ca. Uh, it's Little Ray's Nature Center, the last part, the, just the initials there. Uh, with those basic tours, you can also add on a sloth encounter. In the basic one, you do get to see the sloth, but if you want to hold him like I am, if you would like to pet him or feed him, um, you can add that on to your tour, okay? Which is super cool. Honestly, it's once in a lifetime experience and I would definitely recommend it. We also are back to doing outreach, which means that if you have a birthday party coming up um, or something like that, we can come to you now. Um, again, you guys can contact us the same way, either via phone or email. Um, and we're still doing Zoom shows too. So if you still aren't feeling uh, too comfortable uh, with COVID and things like that, uh, you can do a virtual program. So you can, uh, we will send you a link and then you can open it up and we'll uh, show you animals over the computer, which is super fun as well. Now guys, um, I do wanna talk a little bit about um, my little friend here, Wicket. Um, we have shown him before, but who doesn't love sloths to see him again? So just a reminder, he is a Linnaeus two-toed sloth. Uh, there is two types of sloths, the two-toed and the three-toed. Um, you can see uh, his toes do have two toes, not the three. Now there's two um, types of two-toed sloths. There's Linnaeus and the hoof mint. Um, and then there is four different ones for the three-toed sloth. Uh, so they literally, um, well, the major difference is the number of toes, um, but it can be also appearance too. So typically when you do see uh, sloths as stuffies and things like that, they do have that band across there. Um, that's a three-toed sloth, uh, not this guy. Um, but generally you will see these guys more in captivity. They generally are a little bit more hardy and things like that. Um, but sloths in general are not too hardy, okay? Uh, we actually have to be very careful. Uh, we were lucky, um, Wicket came from a facility down in Florida. They had a baby, he was not from the wild. Um, his parents weren't from the wild. Uh, he was born in captivity and could not be released. Uh, so they looked to other facilities and we were able to take him in, which is pretty exciting. Um, but we did get him when he was quite young, so he's known us this whole time. So when we go and interact with him or we hold him, he's not gonna get stressed out. And sloths are um, prone to getting stressed out easy, so it's really important that we do have those protocols in place to keep his stress down. Um, also, these guys, talking about stress, they need really hot and humid uh, places to live. So if you guys have ever been in the zoo before, you might think it's really warm in here. Let me tell you, our sloth room is much more warm, okay? Uh, it's literally like going into a rainforest. The thing is, is this guy has a very low muscle mass, so he is unable to shiver, um, so he can't uh, boost up his temperature. So it's important that we do keep him nice and warm. Now, uh, generally, if he was in the wild, he would be more of a greener color. They do get algae growing on them. There's bugs that will live on them and things like that. But in captivity, we don't have, uh, he doesn't get that because, well, he's in human care, so we keep him nice and clean. 
Now, one of the funniest facts I know about sloths is about the how many times they go to the bathroom. Um, I wonder if you guys know how often sloths will go to the bathroom? Can you guess? Maybe? <laughs> so, th these guys can actually lose up to a third of their body weight when they go to the bathroom. Uh, because they only go to the bathroom, it can be every couple days to um, up to like a week or every week or so. Um, so it does take a lot out of them when they do go to the bathroom. But if you think about it in the wild, um, they don't generally come down from their tree unless for a reason, okay? So uh, if they don't have to come down every day to go to the bathroom, that's better for them. Uh, less chance of getting uh, stuck by predators and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty good for them. Despite them not wanting to come down from trees though, it is very common to find them in uh, the wild switching trees every so often. Uh, so they do move, they don't just stay in one spot. All right, guys, if you have any other questions about sloths, please comment below. Um, I could go on for a long time about sloths. I just don't want to bore you. Um, if you do want to come meet Wicket, if you want to hold him, please give us a call. Please shoot us an email um, so we can get you in to have an, an amazing experience. Um, I honestly can't tell you how great he is. Um, and again, thanks everybody who donates. Um, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.